she ruined her relationship over three dollars. There's a clip going viral right now on TikTok where this woman is complaining about a recent date she had. She claims that everything was going well, the day was lovely, the guy was nice, but during the date, the waiter came up to the guy and asked him, do you want extra cheese on your burger? And that's when she absolutely lost her mind and had the following response. Guys, I just get back from a hinge date. Why am I doing this to myself? So we scheduled to go to dinner. We are sitting at the restaurant. Seems very nice. Not a catfish. Things are going well. And the waitress comes over. She wants to take her order. And I said, okay, I'm gonna take the Branzino. And he said, I'm gonna take the burger. And the waitress asked him, okay, how do you like your burger? He said, how he likes his burger. And do you want some cheese on your burger? And he asked, is this gonna be extra? And she says, yes, it's $3 extra. And he said, okay, then never mind." Over there, and I'm like, what the actual f I'm like, okay, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat my friends, you know, and see what happens. And he's like, oh my god, you have to pay extra for everything these days. And I'm like, yeah, it's New York City. So I got my Bernzino, he got his burger, we were eating. And once I was satisfied, I got up and I was like, I'm going to the restroom for a second. And I took my purse and I went to the waitress and I was like, hey, I just want to pay the bill. And I just paid the bill and walked out of the restaurant and I texted him. So I texted him. The check is taken care of, you should have gotten the cheese. And I blocked him. So before I show you some of the follow-up videos about this situation, let's just take a moment to talk about what just happened. So this guy is on a date in New York City, a notoriously overpriced and expensive place, right? Where some people even claim that having a 100K salary income is a barely livable salary in New York City because of the cost of living. So this guy takes her on a date and the waiter asks if he wants extra cheese on his burger. Now, like any normal person, the guy just checks is there gonna be extra pay for this cheese? So the waiter says $3. Now, if you're a normal human being, $3 is a ridiculous amount for some extra cheese. I don't know about you, but I could be a billionaire and I would not pay $3 for extra cheese. So the guy refuses, obviously, maybe because of the extra money or maybe because he just didn't want extra cheese. Or maybe if it was like 50 cents instead of $3, he would have gotten the extra cheese anyways. But regardless, not really a big deal, right? Now this woman completely loses her mind for not getting that $3 cheese she leaves the date and blocks him with no explanation, no communication, nothing. At this point, the guy literally does not know what he did wrong in the date at all. In fact, this is how he found out, through the internet because this video went insanely viral. Now, fair enough, she did actually pay for the meal, which I can definitely respect, but I do think it was a bit of an overreaction. Now, for some reason, there's a bunch of people that are really adamant over here saying, you can't even call yourself a guy if you're not paying for her meal, or if you actually, you know, cry over $3 or don't want to pay that $3. Now, apparently we got a follow-up video from the guy. So the guy actually responded to this viral clip. She says, yes, it's $3 extra. And he said, okay, then never mind. To be fair, I had the intention of paying $21 for this burger. So adding $3 for cheese was not worth it but thank you for paying for dinner bye bye ta -ta. honestly just the attitude i saw there that does not seem like a broke man to me i mean if he's paying 21 dollars for a burger I, I mean of course he's gonna have a problem with the three dollar cheese man these prices are just ridiculous i don't know if this is a common practice in new york city i've never been there but it just seems like robbery to me. <laughs> I don't know what kind of gold pixie dust they're sprinkling in their burgers there, but I am not paying $21 for a burger. Also, I gotta say, I do love his attitude there because I, I definitely think you deserve a less crazy chick who doesn't get so mad over $3 and then goes to the internet complaining about it. That's just revolting to me, you know, exposing private matters in a relationship to the internet. Now, believe it or not, she actually made another follow-up to this situation where she apparently says that her and the guy have actually gotten back together for some reason. Just saying personally, I would not get to back together here. Any person who violates the boundaries of a personal private relationship and goes online complaining about such a minuscule issue without even communicating. I don't think they deserve a relationship, but uh, let's check it out. Do you think, I don't know that I'm crazy? I'm crazy, but you are taking it to a different level. You really need to take it easy. Some people going through all of my videos commenting that I'm ugly, 
and that I'm a four, that I'm a two, that I don't deserve love. That's not okay in any way. Why are you taking this stupid video so seriously? I don't know, same reason you took the $3 cheese so seriously. But listen, obviously I never condone any sort of harassment ever. If you're ever gonna talk about people in my videos, please do it in my comment section. If you do it elsewhere, I do not like you. But I gotta say that backlash is pretty much expected on the internet when you say something stupid. So acting surprised at this response is just completely dumb. You can't really pretend that you wouldn't know what would happen if you went viral on TikTok. I'm having a laugh about it. The guy is having a laugh about it. We're talking still and we're gonna go on a second date. Like he He's, he's he laughed about it. He's a psycho like me and we're gonna have fun. It's gonna be okay I really don't know why these people are so comfortable casually admitting that they're psychos But to each their own honestly now this next part is absolutely ironic Basically, she admits in another clip that she is actually broke yet She still loses it over the three dollar cheese. So the guy got a twenty one dollar burger I mean is a man not rich enough. He needs a thousand dollar steak at this point I don't know but uh admitting you're broke and then complaining about a money issue is very funny here and you're going laughing about my tv yeah i know that i'm broke i'm a f student i'm an unpaid intern i'm broke my rent is half of my paycheck i'm literally i'm broke and yeah i have a huge credit debt and that's yeah and i'm fun about it i'm broke and it's gonna be okay and I make really bad financial decisions. But when I go out on a date or to a restaurant with a friend, I'm not gonna bitch about money. I'm gonna enjoy myself and I'm gonna deal with the money later. I'm not gonna be like, oh, that's expensive. Okay, not gonna lie. I'm starting to realize why you're broke here. Your philosophy is literally spend money now, worry about the problems later. I cannot stress how absolutely horrible that mindset is if you wanna get out of your financial situation. You should absolutely be worrying about money, especially if you're broke if you are in debt, like you said, especially if you live in New York City and half your salary goes to your rent. Yes, you should be worrying about money and it is not cringe to not worry about it. Like you literally go to $21 burger restaurants and choose to pay the bill as well, despite the fact that you're broke. Like I would cook my own food at that point. I just don't understand the appeal of bragging to the internet that you're broke. I mean, that's, that's really not a flex at all. When you go into a wine bar and they sell a glass of wine for $15, are you gonna and be like, uh, yeah, I can buy a whole bottle of wine for $15. When you go to a restaurant, you pay extra. You're not gonna pay like you pay in a supermarket. Yeah, you know what you call bitching? I call uh, money management. Listen, you'd never actually catch me paying for wine because I don't drink. And also I would not be buying a $21 burger unless I'm maybe ordering and I'm really desperate someday. But I think you can only have this attitude over here if you're already rich. If you're broke, I don't know why you're piping up so much about, about money management. Oh, you should just spend all the money willy nilly and end up like you? End up like you? You know, complaining to the internet like a loser? Any normal person absolutely cares about saving money, okay? Because these small, small decisions add up on a regular basis and compound into something bigger. All of you guys going through all of my videos, all of my Instagram photos, commenting me these mean comments. I hope that it makes you happy and I hope you're gonna find something else to do today. Well, I hope you find a boyfriend that buys you that $3 cheese you're looking for because uh, I don't think most of us are gonna do that. So petty, man. Click this video. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.